Hello, I'm just going to give you a quick guide on the different stabilities you can buy in a waterbed. Many potential customers don't really understand the different stabilities you can buy in a waterbed. Um, and the stability relates to the movement that you get from the water when you lay on the waterbed. Not the hardness or the softness. Gets a little bit confusing, but I'll walk you through it now. So, if you're on this uh, our website, Aquaglow Waterbeds, you move your cursor over to waterbed mattresses and the drop down menu appears you can you've got four different choices then you've got traditional waterbed frames soft side waterbed mattresses then you can pick traditional frame twin mattresses or a dual set for your waterbed or you can get a dual set twin mattresses for your soft sided waterbed which means you can have a, a, a him and her waterbed or one on either side. You've got a mattress on either side. But uh, for example, to demonstrate the difference in the movement of the waterbed mattresses, I'm going to pick the traditionally framed waterbed. So you click on that. Then you get this picture that comes up and you've got five different stabilities to choose from. Now the HT1000 is the most, should we say, wobbly waterbed mattress. So if you click on the picture for more information, the page comes up and the page describes what the mattress is like. So you could click on size, you can buy this mattress in pretty much any size you want. Um, and it's, it's basically a big bag full of water. There's no stabilizing system inside it. So that's got the, the most waterbed movement you can buy in a waterbed. And then if you scroll down the page, it tells you all about the mattress and what you get with the mattress. Uh, five year warranty, tells you the sizes. There's a video on how to fit your waterbed mattress. And then if you come out of here, and then go to the HT2500L, click on more information, and then as you can see with this one, you've got four fiber layers inside and a layer of fiber there for your lumbar region. Now that, that, that this layer of fiber, these layers of fiber are inside the waterbed to stop or dull the movement of the water so that when you lie on it, it moves less. So the more layers of fiber that the manufacturer puts inside their water mattress, the less movement you get from the water mattress basically. And this has well, the second least amount of um, fiber layers, which means it moves less than the, the HT1000, but more than the others that we're gonna come to. So if you come out of here, go to the HT3500L, click on more information, and eventually it'll come up, here we go. So again, you can pick your different sized mattress. If you want a double size, you pick, a, pick the double or a king size, which pretty much most people have these days. And then you can scroll down. And again, it tells you what you get with the mattress. Uh, it tells you the warranty and what's included and how stable it is. What they're also known as stability uh, firm, motionless, waveless, three layer. So again, this has gone up in stability, so you get slightly less movement than the type 2500L. The same again for the 4500L, you get less movement than the 3500L. And the same again, for the 5500L, you get less movement 
than the 4,500. That's the maximum amount of, well, that's the least amount of movement you can get in your waterbed mattress. What they try to do is the manufacturers try to halve the movement every time. So let's say you get around about 18 to 20 seconds of movement, water movement, in the HT1000. You can halve that in the 2500. And then, so that would be 10 seconds of movement. Then halve that in this one. That would be 4 to 5 seconds of movement. And then halve that again. 2 to 3 seconds of movement. And then try and halve this, which is about 1 second of movement. And if you want to find out a little bit more on the movement, put your cursor on help. And then click on advantages and health benefits. Sorry, not this one. Not this one. <laughs> Buying a waterbed. So this explains it a little bit better. This is a helpful guide when you come to buying a waterbed. And down here, item C, it just tells you a little bit, gives you a guideline of the difference between the 1000, the 2500L, the 3500L. And here we break it down a little bit more. You see, here in item G, people get confused with the hardness and softness of a waterbed and the stability of a waterbed. The hardness and softness is always adjustable. It doesn't matter which mattress you buy, you can always adjust the hardness and softness. It depends on how much water you want to add to your waterbed, or if you want to take any water out, you can make it softer. So putting more water in makes it harder, taking water out makes it softer. But the stability will always remain the same because the stability is governed by how much how many fiber layers the manufacturer puts into your waterbed. You can get nine different stabilities of waterbed mattress. We've limited it down to the 1000 and then the 2500L. You can actually get, you can, you can, you can buy the 2000 as well and you can there's a 2000 there's a 3000 in between the 2500 and the 3500 there's a 4000 in between these and there's a 5000 in between these but we only buy we only stock the 5500 L's anything with an L because the L means lumbar support inside your waterbed I hope that's cleared it up for you. Basically, that's the difference between the hardness and softness and stability of a waterbed. The hardness and softness is fully adjustable at any time, even 10 years down the road. You can, you can adjust it whenever you want, but the stability is governed by how much fibre the manufacturers insert into your waterbed mattress. Thanks for listening.